been a deadly bicycle accident in Cambridge. The victim is a man who was hit and killed by a tractor trailer. The driver of that truck stayed at the scene. And now police are trying to figure out what went wrong here. The crash happened in a busy area of Cambridge, right near the Harvard Square T station. WBZ's Paul Burton is there live for us now with more on the investigation. Paul? And police say this crash happened right at the end of rush hour, so this was a very busy time and a sad situation. And one police are still trying to figure out what went wrong. Yeah, it's scary. It's tragic. It makes me sick. A deadly crash right in the heart of Harvard Square in Cambridge after police say a bicyclist was struck and killed by a tractor trailer Tuesday morning. It, it really reminded me of like you can, this is very, this is a very dangerous place and you can, you can get hurt and get killed. According to the Middlesex District Attorney's Office, the bicyclist was a man in his 50s and was pronounced dead at the scene. The crash happened in the area of Mass Ave and Dunster Street, right near the Harvard Square and BTA station. Investigators remain on scene for most of the day, trying to figure out what happened. The driver of the 18-wheeler did remain at the scene and spoke with police. Bikers riding by say this is a very busy intersection and dangerous turn. This intersection is interesting because you'll see the bike lane stops right here and there's a bit of a merge. It's a very tight turn for a truck and a bicycle together. George uh, Schneelock is with Cambridge so Bicycle Safety. Plan, he travels around uh, Harvard Square uh, regularly and says this bike lane is way too narrow. We need a network of protected bike lanes in Cambridge right away to prevent any more fatal crashes. Rick McGuire of Alston says he got hit by a car while riding his bike on the BU Bridge four years ago. Scenes like this are all too familiar. You have to be cautious and really aware of your surroundings. And I mean, it goes for drivers too. And you Witnesses say the biker, who is known to the area, was not wearing a helmet. It's really scary. It makes you want to wear a helmet. I feel so bad for the, the friends and family of the person. And the name of the victim has not yet been released. So far, no charges have been filed against the driver. The crash remains under investigation. We're live in Cambridge tonight. I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.